Hi everyone, it's Amanda with uh, Time Travel Hypnosis and Northwest Arkansas Mom, Northwest Arkansas Out There Mom. <laughs> and this is a video about something that's a little out there. So I want to talk about the big picture of why we're here. I was watching a video yesterday, it was a QHHT uh, hypnosis session uh, by Alba Weinman. You can look her up on YouTube. Um, but she was doing a session with this guy named Gary and when he was in hypnosis he was talking about uh, the new earth and really interesting things like that but at one point she asked him what is the big picture can you tell us the big picture of what we're doing here what, what's the big you know what, what what's the plan and he said that it was an experiment to see how far into the dark we could go and still thrive. And that just somehow resonated really deeply with me. Um, I had heard Bashar say um, how amazing, you know, all the other beings and the, all the other universes thought we humans were because we're the, we're the ones that have to do the thing that nobody has ever done. Like we have never cut ourselves off so far from source before. So that was really interesting to me that it's, it's this um, big experiment to see if we can remember our light being in the dark, so far in the dark. And a lot of us would, would, would not think that we're really in the dark. I mean, life gets hard sometimes, but we still have those moments of beauty. You know, we have our families, we have our friends, we have our fun things that we do. Um, but apparently there isn't anywhere else where we're so cut off from knowing who we really are. Um, we're just... I just, I just wonder if everywhere else we remember where we came from and we remember the light and the love that we are, and which sounds kind of corny, but here it's all about like struggle and trying to get by and um, trying to get through things and, and people get caught up with that. But what was so amazing to me is that if you think think about yourself as this amazing uh, being of light who chose to be one of the ones to come here on earth into the farthest place away that we could get ourselves from who we really are and remembering what that beautiful unconditional love feels like and if you've ever felt it like in a hypnosis session or in a meditation um, you know I can only imagine what it really feels like when we're not in our human bodies um, because just that just that feeling when you connect in um, is so it can be so overwhelming that you just cry it's just too much it's just too much beautiful beautifulness and um, I don't even know how to explain it if, you, if you've done it you know what I'm talking about it's the unconditional love and it's not like an earth unconditional love. I mean, people say you have unconditional love for your children, but you don't really, because you still get mad at them when they're when they misbehave, right? If you really had unconditional love for your children, you would not ever get you would not ever have any negative feelings because you would look at them and you would know that every single thing they do, every single action they take, is for a reason and for a purpose, and it's to help them or you. And my children are helping me a lot right now because I'm getting triggered a lot. And they're getting triggered a lot. Sometimes just by me breathing a certain way, they're getting triggered. So um, anyway, so anyway, um, and Bashar had said, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly what he said, but I remember the impact of it when he said that we didn't know how amazing we were because we had gone, we had taken ourselves so far into the dark, dark, further than anybody ever had, and still made it back to the light. We still have this quality of light in us, even though we've endured all these lifetimes of hardship and suffering and horrible, you know, like devastation and 
mass killings. I mean, we st we're still living through it. We're going through it right now. Still. Um, and yet we still find the beauty in life. We still find moments of clarity and connection to our real selves. So the fact that we're here, they say, means that we are... <laughs> We are badass, to be honest. We are pretty awesome to even be on Earth. Everybody on Earth. Even the people that irritate you and you think they're not very evolved and uh, they don't know what they're doing. There's a reason. They're here to trigger people or they're here to um, put some stuff in the world that we need to get past, to get through, to clear out, to get back to ourselves. And, uh, and all of us at the source level. I mean, we're still connected um, to source, even though we don't know it. We're cut off. So if we meditate, and uh, you know, if you do hypnosis sessions and spiritual regressions, then you can connect back to yourself. And it's really amazing uh, how much that helps. How much that, and then you'll start seeing things like I did. You'll start, um, you know, you'll watch these videos and you'll hear somebody talk and you'll you'll just, you'll understand, you'll get it, you'll understand. And then all of a sudden, even the really crappy things don't, don't seem bad because there's like, there's a purpose for it. There's a reason for it and you chose it and it just doesn't seem as hard when you know that you picked this and you're here for a reason and a purpose and it's to bring light back. You've got to shine your light. You've got to be yourself and you've got to do the things you love and you've got to remember that even through all the darkness you're the light and you've got to shine that light and it's really important that you shine that light so that's all i want to say really um i just want to talk about that experience i had of of um hearing those two things it was like a confirmation it was like I, i'm going through all this all of a sudden like a bunching up of bad stuff all at once and then I'm also seeing it in all my friends like everywhere I look there's like this bunching up of all this bad stuff that's happening all at once um, and so it's really helped me to know that it's on purpose we've got to we've got to see all this bad and we've got to remember to shine through it to bring to bring the light through yourself and I you know when I was doing a meditation uh, my I would say one of my guides. I don't know who it was, um, but it was somebody I never communicated with before. But he said, you know, you need to remove yourself from the chaos. And I laughed to myself and thought, I, you know, I can't really, the chaos is in my house. It's all around. I can't really remove myself from that. And so he said, well, you need to, you know, just remove yourself for an hour a day. Just meditate for an hour a day. It would make a huge difference and you'll feel so much better. That's what he said. He, he didn't say it would make a huge difference. He said, you will feel so much better. And uh, so I started meditating for 15 minutes because that's about what I could do at the time. And uh, and then the confirmation from this Alba Weinman uh, session, the guy also said, you need to start meditating. You need to prepare. I don't know what we're preparing for specifically. I haven't got the answers on that yet, but there are a lot of theories out there. Um, but yeah, meditating just even 15 minutes a day has has made me feel so much better in that I can now focus on the good things and the positive and the moving forward instead of the downward spiral where you you're like oh this bad stuff is happening and this and that and then you just go down 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 and before you know it you're just horribly depressed and you can't act or do anything so if you're not meditating check it out and you know maybe it'll help you too um, and if you have any anything you want to add about the big picture and what you think the big picture is and why you think we're here and all that be feel free to uh, leave that in the comments uh, I hope to be making more videos like this so go ahead and subscribe if you feel like it and uh, share it with your friends if you want and if you would like a spiritual regression I do those via Skype and you can uh, contact me through my timetravelhypnosis.com website and I, I have blog posts on nwaouttheremom.com so thanks for listening I see my son at the window hi thanks for listening I'll see you next time bye